Okay guys, I have uh, bought the least expensive blind hem foot I could find on Amazon and I'll put a link, an affiliate link in the description but this one has the bar that you need to have Let's see if I can get it under here anyway that, that bar is important because it pulls the uh, the uh, top stitch over and uh, I think this will work very well so let's give this a try I haven't tried it yet so just got it in opened it up so this is the packaging that it comes in and I've got some fabric folded over here to simulate our pocket that we did the overstitch on and we're sh uh, sewing the shorts so long so it's the same fabric so we're going to compare it and see how it looks okay so two layers here folded over like a pocket and it's got a guide that we can write up against right here so again memory number two stitch number I think it was four Yes, stitch number four is the stitch on this machine. So let's, let's have a look here and see what it does. I think it's going to be much better than me trying to use that other foot that I used on the video. Here we go. to the guide. Uh, make sure I've got the right stitch. Yeah, that's number four. I'll turn the machine off and reset it. I don't know why it's stopping. Okay, memory. Four. And it shows using the blind hem foot. Let's try this again, see what happens. This one's pushing it away also, so you're going to put your finger here to keep it the fabric up next to the, uh, the guide and the needle area, just like I did in the other one. Also kind of bunching it up here against the guide because by the time it gets under the needle it moves over just a little bit so sorry my hands in the way but I'm going to do this to guide the fabric let me speed this up a little bit having to ride my finger right up next to the foot there and keep that fabric in there but looking at this this looks much better let me turn my tension up a little bit I had it on three let me go on four looks a little loose
that and have a look and see what it looks like. I may have pushed it up a little bit too much, got a little bit of a bump there. Okay, there it went, it came out. Okay, let me press this real quick and let's have a look at it. And see how it looks. Tighten the tension, did a better job. It was loose there and then down here it started pulling over. And you can see there where it's loose. So let me press it. Alright, it pressed out real nicely. So I'll say this foot's a winner looking at that. It's a, a nice looking overcast stitch. And when I pressed it, this area up here tightened down too. So use tension three and a half to four, somewhere in there. And it will look good. Okay, anyway, that's it guys. Um, that's a much better looking stitch than what I did on the, uh, the pants. So, uh, this foot comes with the uh, package for the 4452, I think it is. It's kind of strange it didn't come with this machine. But anyway, you can get this one for seven, eight bucks is what it was. It was like eight something shipping, or when it was shipped and with taxes, I guess I should say, because Amazon Prime is free. But anyway, I'll leave a link in the description uh, for the money. I think it's worth it. It looks really good. So anyway, I wanted to test it for you guys before I recommended it. That's it. Take care.